honest, I've never actually loved my hair. I think the only time that I've been really happy with my hair is after I've straightened it. There's something, I do have a bit of a natural curl, um, you can't really tell because I just uh, blow dried my hair, but I do have a little bit of a natural curl, but I've never found a way to work with it. I've used so many products and oils and uh, curling irons and stuff, and I just, I can't work with the natural curl that I have. I think that it looks kind of cute if I'm around the house, but it's it's always messy. There's always a lot of top frizz happening. I found the only way to fight the frizz is to just flat iron my whole head. I've been doing it since uh, 2008. Now I straighten my hair when I go out places, if I have a job, um, any kind of thing where I have to look presentable. <laughs> in summer, it's the worst. And flat ironing your hair in summer is the worst feeling because you're already sweaty. And then putting this hot thing near your face, it just, I get so sweaty, I hate it. I hate it so much. So, Japan has this thing, you've probably heard of it, it's called a straight perm. I've been wanting to get a straight perm um, ever since I heard about them, about two years ago. I was like, this sounds amazing. And I feel that I've always been too scared. I've always been way too scared. I'm like, cause it's permanent. It's fully permanent. You have to wait for your hair to grow out and then you can cut off the, the straight bits. Recently I realized I haven't been challenging myself and there's a lot of things that I'm like, oh, one day I wanna do this. And so now is the time to just do it. I was watching a few videos about straight perms before. I watched Rachel and June's. I talked to my friend Sam and Jennifer about it. I know so many people that have a straight perm here. <laughs> I've had some advice and I'm ready to go through with it and I'm ready to do it. So I'm gonna be going to Nalu Hair Salon and yeah, they're gonna help me out today and finally get me to a place where I'm happy with my hair and I won't have to straighten it every day and I can just wake up and my hair will be ready to go. <laughs> so I know that after I get the straight perm done, I'm going to have to wait two to three days to wash my hair. I just can't wash my hair at all and I just have to, and I can't put it up in a ponytail or anything. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult with the, uh, the sweaty summer that we're in, but hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> it's happening. I'm finally doing something. So without further ado, let's go to the hair salon. Okay, so I'm almost there. I just gotta turn the corner and then I'll be there. I've been freaking out the entire time. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I guess because it's like permanent. So I'm like, oh my God, it's permanent. Oh my God, it's permanent. But I, it'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. I just need to get over it. So this is my hair right now. I don't know if you can see the fine details. All right, well, I'm gonna head over there and go inside and let's get this fixed. It'll be fine. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now you can see. Okay, with, with the sunlight, you can kind of see the flyaways that kind of happen. This still feels, there we go, that kind of business. So that's what I'm aiming to fix. That's the main problem that I have, just all these frizzy bits. So here's hoping that it works out. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm here now. Uh, we're just about to get started. First of all, they're going to wash my hair. So I'm gonna go get it washed and I'll be right back. Also, we are gonna straighten my fringe which is gonna make it look a little bit odd. It's gonna be like fully straight, but just every morning I'm just gonna use the, the straining iron to just curl the ends. So it should be okay. It's freshly washed out. My, my forehead is out. Look at that. That's, a, that's more than a five head. <laughs> okay. Check out these little ear caps. Okay. And for having treatment. Yes. Yeah, for maintenance. Yeah. And the treatment. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I can just do it at home? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so we've just finished the first round of chemicals, I think, um, and I'm going to be going to get my hair washed, and then after that I think we're straightening it and then doing another round of chemicals, I think. So we just washed one more time, <laughs> and now we're going to blow dry and straighten, right? Okay, we're going to blow dry and straighten. Okay. 
Okay, so we just blow dried my hair and I also ordered a soy latte, so I'm really excited to have that to drink. And then we're gonna straighten and I think add another chemical to the hair to bond it. That's what she said, bond it. So it's gonna do something. There's some smoothness starting to happen at the back. Ooh. Okay, so this side, like I think this is what my hair is gonna look like. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy from this? Look at that. Okay, so we're getting pretty straight. My fringe looks a little bit odd, but I'm gonna be curling it in with a flat iron every day, so it's not gonna look so straight every time. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, wow. It's crazy. Oh, what are we doing now? Ah, the second second chemical. Okay. Mm. Before bonding. Bonding. Okay, time to bond. Okay. It's confirmed. It's a look. Ooh. I hope that it sets like this and I permanently have a fringe that's like leaping off my face. That's the dream. <laughs> okay, so I just had one last wash. I think it's gonna be the last one. I have been here for four hours, so four, four and a half hours so far. Um, so I think now I think we just have to dry it and straight. I don't know, if, I don't think we have to straighten it anymore. I have no idea, but Hopefully, we're nearing the end because I'm ready to eat a horse. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I only had an onigiri today. It looks quite long now. Whoa, look how long it is. I swear it wasn't that long before. <laughs> it looks so thin and long. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> the spindly little bits of hair. Whoa. Oh, well, it's going to look good when it's, when it's dry. So, here we go. Look at this. It's crazy. It feels so soft. So we're gonna trim the ends and I'm gonna get my fringe just a little bit shorter so it's not like, I feel kind of like I'm boxed in. <laughs> but I kind of want to show my eyebrows a little bit. Like that, but yeah. Right, let's slice and dice. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Can you guys see? Wow. <laughs> Look at that, that's so amazing. Okay guys, five hours later, and here we are. Look at that, oh my gosh. It's so soft, it's seriously so soft. I can't believe this is my life now. This is who I am. From now, uh, for three days, I can't wash my hair and I can't put my hair up in a ponytail because that'll put a kink in it. So I just have to leave it as it is. I'll use some dry pampoo. Pampoo? Wow. I'll use some dry shampoo so that it doesn't get too greasy. Uh, and yeah, I will check back in with you guys in, I don't know, either a day or a week or something and let you know how it's going after I wash it and everything. And yeah. Oh my gosh. This feels insane. Okay, I'll check back in with you guys in a few days. And I'll also tell you all, everything like the price and where to find this place and everything like that. So, all right, here I go. Say hello to the new Ella. No frizz McGee. Look at that, no frizz. No frizz, nothing. Okay, thank you so much for doing my hair. Uh, thank you very much. You did such a great job. <laughs> Everyone, this is Yuki, by the way. So, uh, thank you, Yuki. Thank you very much. So it's been three days since I got the straight perm done. Uh, it, it has been amazing so far. The only thing is I haven't been able to wash my hair for three days. Uh, so as you can see, it is still very straight. Um, I have been allowed to uh, use a hair straightener to slightly curl the ends and curl my fringe in. But otherwise, I've just had to leave it as it is and I've had to leave it exactly like this. I am very tempted to keep doing this, but I have to keep it as naturally positioned as possible. So it's been a bit warm, gotten a bit greasy, so I feel pretty disgusting and I'm really ready to have my first shower. So I'm gonna shower and see how it goes. So I had my dry shampoo ready to go and I went to use it and it's empty, there's nothing left. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, bad timing, but I've been uh, using corn flour, which hasn't been amazing, but it's worked a little bit. So you get corn flour and you put it in your roots. But yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower, so. Bye, I'm so excited. <laughs> no more grease. 
All right, hey guys. It has been exactly one week since I got my hair done, and this is how it is currently doing. Look at that. So with this hair, I showered this morning, and then I blow dried it, and then I, all I have to do these days is just get a straightener and just kind of slightly curl the ends, and I curl my fringe in, because if I don't do that, I'll show you, it actually looks kind of crazy when I get out of the shower, because it is so dead straight. My hair is still very, very soft and nice, but I can tell that it is getting a little bit dry. I was reading about it before, and permanent straightening does damage your hair. It, it just does, but you can get a treatment with it, which is what I had. So in the midst of, of straightening it, they did a treatment on my hair, and they say to do regular treatments after that to keep your hair smooth and good quality. Uh, my hairdresser actually said if you don't do treatments, if you let your hair like dry out and stuff, uh, it can return to being frizzy. Just pretty much you have to keep maintaining your hair. So I'll be doing treatments at home. I can get like hair masks and stuff, um, or I can go into the salon and get a treatment there. Life is very easy now. It's so, so nice. I really love my hair. Uh, every time I just wake up and I have straight hair, I shower and I have straight hair. It's just, it's so much easier. It's really, truly enjoyable. I don't regret this at all and I would definitely do it again. 100%. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. So of course I do want to be open with you guys and, and tell you all the behind the scenes stuff. So I was actually offered this as an offer from Nalu, so I didn't actually have to pay for the straightening. But if you do want to pay for it, it, it depends on what kind of straightening you get and how long your hair is. I saw it there for like 17,000 yen, but I also am reading that if it's a certain length it can be over 20,000 yen. It just depends. Also, the straightening might be different depending on the kind of hair that you have. I think it's best to go in there for a consultation and see what they can do for you and then they can give you a quote on the price. Now, after this, I will be getting touch-ups. They recommend touch-ups like every three to six months. Uh, but Rachel, from her video, she did it like a year after. So pretty much just gonna leave it and see how it goes. And if I start going crazy with the frizz again as it grows through, um, I'll go and get a touch-up. But I still love this hair. I keep swishing around all over the place. It's really wonderful. I don't really have any negatives to say about it. I haven't thought of a single negative. Also, it did take five and a half hours, but they were really busy at the salon. So I actually think it would take much less time if I went back at a less busy time. So just when you go, just make sure you have like basically a lot of time free. Um, my friend got it done in like two, two and a half hours. I've had people get it done in three or four. But yeah, five and a half hours, it was a lot, but um, still worth it and I don't think it's ever gonna take that long again. There is a problem if you have bleached or colored or damaged hair. Um, that's why I think you need to go in for a consultation beforehand. Sometimes with actual bleached hair, they just can't do the straightening because it would really damage your hair. Luckily for me, my hair's all a natural color. I've grown mine out over time. So uh, yeah, I'd say go and get a consultation if you can and just see what is best for you. By the way, I have been out in super windy weather, really hot and sticky weather, all kinds of weather outside, and I have not had a single bit of frizz happen. Look at this, it's just, it's perfect. So yep, that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you're interested in this kind of service, I'm gonna leave a link to Nalu in the description down below. Thank you so much to my hairdresser Yuki, who helped me out with this do. She was wonderful, really easy to talk to, and she used to live near my old house in Australia, which is crazy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, or not like this. Meh. But thanks for watching and say hello to the new Emma and I'll see you guys in the next video. Done it!